So uh, they found one of those boats in the bottom of the sea. Uh, and they brought it up. Archaeologists found it. And they had a six-foot pillow in the back of the boat back under, you know, I don't know what you call it, back of the stern on the inside. So literally Jesus did go back and lay on a pillow and went to sleep. I mean, we, we believe the word if they found it or didn't find it, but it's nice to know that, isn't it? <clears throat> so uh, tomorrow I leave for five weeks, five and a half weeks, to Bulgaria and Romania. And I want to, uh, I want to ask prayer in particular for myself and for Dare, even though she's staying here, that she'll be protected and taken care of. And for the pastors, the people, <coughs> Saturday we're going to be in a pastor's conference. Daniel Moser and I will be speaking to a few Bulgarian pastors, and most of the churches are small. But you know, in God's eyes, they're just as important as a mega church. Amen. You know, we, we evaluate things by numbers and finances and so forth, but God is concerned about every individual soul, of course, but He, he loves churches, small or large. And so we're going to be speaking uh, to Bulgarian pastors who need a fresh word from God, need encouragement, direction, and so forth. So we need prayer for wisdom and Daniel Moser will be doing the most of the speaking because he can only be there for the weekend and he has to leave Monday to go back to Switzerland. But I'll be staying for two weeks in Bulgaria and then I'll be moving on to Romania. And now in Romania, well, I wanted to say one thing. Bulgaria is a very hostile climate for the gospel. Probably less than one half a percent of the people are believers. It's a, it's a real cold nation. They speak a, a language that's very similar to Russian. And somehow, even though there's revival in parts of Russia right now, there's not any revival in Bulgaria. So then I'll be moving into uh, Romania for three weeks, maybe a little more than three weeks. Now, the pastor there in Romania, his name is Mildrag. Interesting name, isn't it? His mother was very proud to have him born. He was the oldest of two boys. And meal comes from the word for honey, Mary. And drag comes from the word draga, which means deer. So he's honey deer. That's what she named him. <laughs> well, I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> he's, he, he's recently uh, completed a 40-day fast and on water. Lost 39 pounds. So I don't know what's, what we're going to find when we get there, but he's looking, he's encouraging four other small churches. The church in Romania is not very large either. But he's encouraging four other pastors in different parts and the area not too far from where he's pastoring. And I hope to be in all of those churches. I hope to be in every location that he's working with. Just to bring encouragement and whatever God gives me to give them. So I appreciate your prayers when I'm gone. Uh, try to remember to pray for us. And God is good. That's my testimony. God is good. Amen. And I do want prayer for my home church before I leave. So I'd appreciate prayer. I don't know if it's time for that right now or not. Okay, he says any time. You know, these are days of harvest. Yes. It's already begun in other parts of the world. There's revival going on right now in Brazil, China, India, parts of Russia, and even a move of God is going on in Israel that's not being publicized. Hmm. It's coming here, folks. Yes. Revival's on the way. Hallelujah. And God's sending His angels to gather out of His kingdom all things that offend. Hmm. If you read Matthew chapter 13 you'll see that the angels come to take out the wicked first and then the righteous will be gathered into the kingdom of the Father. I didn't say that. Jesus did. And he'll take, he'll take the wickedness out of us as well as wickedness out of his kingdom. So expect God to work. God's moving. He is moving. Praise the Lord. <laughs>